The majority of Russians have no attitude toward the war against Ukraine. The active share is about 30%. Ivan Priobrazensky, a Russian political analyst in the opposition, says in an interview with RBC Ukraine. According to Priobrazensky, the active core of support for the war is about 15-17% to 17 of the Russian population. At different times, it has been shrinking and growing depending on the situation at the front. About 15% categorically do not support the war and some of them have left for foreign countries. Because of this, this group initially shrank to around 10% by 2023. Then it expanded due to the breaking of psychological barriers when the war reached people's homes. These could be the wives or relatives of mobilized soldiers or mercenaries killed in Ukraine, the political scientist said. Among the opponents of the war are young people who realize that their future in Russia will be more like everyday life in North Korea if the country continues on this path. Smaller groups of the population also do not support the invasion. Regional elites who built their careers on corruption and had no democratic inclinations but enjoyed sending money to France or England were also caught off guard when their survival strategies were abruptly taken away. Ivan Priobrazensky said that social explosions in Russia occur when Russians have at least minimal hope for change. An example was the march of the Wagner PMC founder Yevgeny Prigozhin, who was supported in the Russian cities. Social explosions happen when, often for unclear reasons or unpredictable coincidences, what's called a point of collective action arises. Suddenly, many people realize that they can influence what's happening here and now. Priya Brazinski said, As the oppositionist explained, the above-mentioned points arise when there is a discoordination between the authorities and security forces, resulting in the latter taking a pause and not fulfilling their duties. One of the most likely points, according to Priya Brazinski, is a clash between the Kremlin and the regional elite. Medium-sized businesses have been under pressure recently. Former Ukrainian MP Viktor Medvedchuk after he came to Russia, already received a business worth several billion that was seized from Russian mid-sized businessmen. At the same time, Russian President Vladimir Putin himself allowed governors to create volunteer battalions. It may also happen that the security forces will eventually show greater loyalty to the local leadership and take their side. A similar situation occurred in Bashkortostan when the police did not stop the protesters for some time. Revolution must be about future generations and archaically about the land where our children are supposed to live. When these two factors come together, a protest emerges, even though people understand that it will be suppressed. In Bashkortostan, by the way, it wasn't immediately suppressed, as the police live here themselves and react similarly to the majority of the population. The political scientist explains.